We bought this beast vandalized, fixed it most of the way, but still never registered it or put it in our names. We've been cruising the country for a year and a half. But we don't even have license plates. But today we're gonna to try and finally go register Abby maybe and put her in our name. I wonder if, think they'll let us? We fixed the inside, it's beautiful. The outside still needs love. Hey Leela, how do you feel about driving around a vandalized, unregistered vehicle that's not even in your name? Yeah. No, she was salvaged. So we're gonna unsalvage that title today. I don't think you are. We hope, so we're, the DMV had to drive an hour to get here. Two months to get the appointment. Two months to get the appointment, but luckily there's been this kind of, you know, what do they call it? Grace period. Grace! Grace period, so but if you're running that. around unlicensed, unregistered, untitled, nobody cares. I care. I heard the grace period is uh, ending soon. Wow. We've learned how to properly take advantage of our local government. You are a bad, bad person. That's the tiny line if you don't have an appointment. And not really, you just kind of wait for them to call you here. Have fun. I am literally in the middle of a DMV appointment right now. We are registering three vehicles. We're getting licenses. In order to take the vision test, I had to pull my reading contact and luckily I had one. We happen to have the RV with us here, so I just put another one in so I can finish my appointment. If I hadn't taken the contact out for the vision test, I would have had a restriction on my license and that's just, I'm, a, I'm against that. Too young to have restrictions on my license, man. You're just a child. How was our success with getting Abby registered? Well, we are still not registered because, as you know, we bought a vandalized RV that came from an insurance company to a private party and we bought it from that private party and a lot of complexity. So we have a whole bunch of notes and we've got to get more documentation so that we can once again bring it back to the DMV. But hey, the car's finally registered and a few other things. So um, I don't know. Six Kayla nine. has her, her ID. Are you excited? <laughs> Kayla's excited. We have our travel driver's licenses, man. What are those called? Oh, yeah, the real ID. Real that. I, I had a real ID before though. Right, but now you have one for Oregon where yes. we currently tether when we're not on the road. Thousands of tears later. See that? Five weeks later, still not registered. We got some signature things sorted out, so let's see if I can get it registered. And this time I'm going to the DMV office that online says you can't just drop in on and register big trailers, but the other office is farther away says you can, so let's see what happens. And I don't have an appointment. Now we're in two-wheel drive. I needed four because I got stuck a second ago. Everybody's favorite place to visit. See how long this takes. Round two. Not nearly as bad as I thought in here. The lines are empty and the people are friendly. And it's starting to fill up so we get here just in the nick of time. This is good, we're getting the VIN checked. This is the plate we've been rocking for a year and a half. This one, uh, right here, oh, look at this. Boom, registered and check this out. I'm getting a custom plate. It's gonna look like, look like this. Now I am finally legit. To see the very first time we ever saw this vehicle, we bought it sight unseen, click right up there. Can't wait to share our adventures with you.